Hey guys, welcome back to the Coco channel and to the very first gift guide. I'm so excited that I had to sing about it. Um, so today we are doing, as you can tell from the title, gift guide for him um, and a little sneaky peeky from our family photos. I just really wanted this to be the uh, thumbnail. <clears throat> as you can tell from my voice, I am still sick. So, um, I'm so excited to share some of the things that we did, I got for Andrew and my dad. Um, this is for anybody in your life who happens to be a man, um, or if this may relate to a woman in your life who is interested in the same things, there's no, um, you know, genderization. Is that a thing? Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started. These are things that I actually did purchase as gifts um, and then I'll go into more details later on some other ideas for gifts so let me just go ahead and share. The first thing that I want to share is something that I picked up for Andrew and my mom actually picked this up a similar one for my dad so both of the men love Versace right now. Um, just the smell of every single one of these is amazing. My mom got a different deal at Macy's. Um, I happened to pick this up during the 20% off for uh, the VIB sale. Uh, so you have so many different ones. It only comes with four. These little bottles go in the boxes. But uh, I feel like the smaller ones are perfect for the men because they go through them more if they see it smaller, at least for Andrew. I got him a YSL mini set, the Coffret, last year, and he really, really loved it, and he's almost out of the very last one, so this is perfect. He needed it, and I've smelled these before, and they're amazing. Okay, so my dad is an avid hunter, for those of you who didn't know, um, and so Andrew picked out something for him for um, hunting because he had the opportunity to go with him for I believe it was deer in October um, and so he said that they spent a lot of time in the bushes and they were kind of like kneeling and doing different things so he decided to get him this it's something that he could literally snap onto his backpack or what have you and it's just a little three um, what do they call it like a tri leg stool <laughs> and it is camo so I don't know if that's really gonna make a difference since the legs are black, but <laughs> it is all the rage, the camo. Really, really inexpensive gift um, if you maybe have a hunter in your uh, family or married or significant other, what have you. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna seem so random, but again, my dad, like I said, is a hunter. He's also a gun toting rootin' tootin' shootin' southwestern kind of guy. So Andrew picked up this vest for him. You guys are gonna die. And <laughs> it buckles, but it's it literally looks like a piece of Andrew's gear. Can I just show you? US. That it's like a vest and there's obviously spots for your gun I don't know if it goes on the inside or what and then there's spots for like ammo it's basically just like a utility vest can you see how big oh it's a little bit tight on me I wonder if this is gonna fit my dad I wonder if the Andrew noticed that there's a size on it anyways it's this vest <laughs> for putting like ammo and stuff like that again this is gonna seem very random to a lot of you but my dad actually does have a membership to a gun range and he goes quite often so having like all of his extra ammo and stuff like that on hand instead of having it in a bag on the ground or anything like that like he's gonna love it I know he is I know he's gonna love that so um, I'm gonna have to like put it in a t-shirt box that's gonna be so funny when he opens this really random but um, my dad <laughs> my dad's a prepper and so he has bug out bags and all kinds of stuff. So Andrew thought it would be a brilliant idea to get him a Israeli bandage battle dressing first aid compression bandage. So it's supposed to help with hemorrhage control. So maybe you know somebody who's like a prepper in your family. Um, I highly recommend stuff like this. It has like a, a piece of plastic and that's how it like tightens around it instead of just like having nothing there. It has a piece of plastic that's like the shape of, I don't know how to describe it. It like holds pressure on the wound instead of you like the 
patient or you having to put pressure on it. I know that's so random. Okay, something I get my dad every single year that is such a great gift idea. I get him this Hickory Farm little set and everybody snacks on it during the day, but it is literally his favorite thing about Christmas and I don't know how it turned into like a thing, but I give it to him every single year. Every single year I give him this and he's every single year he's just as excited it's something about like only treating yourself around this time of year or you're supposed to um, he doesn't eat stuff like this all the time and so having like the sausage and the cheese and the cracker and they all go on about the mustard um, is definitely uh, something that the guys enjoy um, for the most part anyways not to generalize again but another thing that I haven't gotten yet that is an amazing gift is the Hickory Farms Christmas coffee if you were with me last year you will remember that it was such a big deal that my mom and I found it in a kiosk in the middle of a mall um, the literally every single year Andrew and I looked for it for my parents because it was their favorite thing in the whole entire world that you can only get at this time of year obviously it's Christmas coffee and they discontinued it for I want to say at least five plus years maybe even ten plus and so they brought it back last year it's not called Christmas coffee anymore because that's not politically correct um, which is fine not everybody celebrates Christmas but I'm just saying that's what it used to be called um, it may I think it's called holiday coffee now so anyways um, I highly recommend that it tastes exactly the same they said and so that's a huge deal in our family so I get this for him and the Christmas coffee holiday coffee excuse me anyways um so he is he was very brilliant uh very well spoken um three decades of passions pastimes and politics so i did get this for andrew actually because i think he'll really enjoy it i'm trying to pick up books here and there for him um but not too many because obviously if you are new you may not know that he is getting deployed this second week of January and so there's just not a lot of stuff for them to do over there and so I feel like reading books is going to be something that can pass his time very slowly. <laughs> Keeping along with the theme of food, um, I did get these for my dad as well. <laughs> It, he's so hard to shop for and you'll see this in the women's gift guide as well my parents are the type of people where they have pretty much anything and everything that they want if there is something that they need they usually just go out and get it and so when it comes to like birthdays and Christmas it's very hard to shop for them so I either get them treats like food and stuff um, that they wouldn't necessarily buy themselves like it's a true treat or um, we like make a memory and so I'll talk about that more later, but um, I did get my dad these. These are called the Little Pops. Um, we usually get the suckers from C's, and I saw these, so it's not a sucker, so you don't feel like, you know, weird that you're a grown-up sucking on a sucker, especially for him. He's like 50, you know what I mean, like almost 60 years old, like sucking on a little pop. Not that you have to be a certain age, but I just thought that he would really enjoy the same exact flavor, the yummy, yummy butterscotch, but in a little wrapper that he could put in his briefcase because he does travel a lot. So this would be perfect for him to go like on the plane and stuff. I don't know. I thought he would really, really like it. This is something that I'm getting for, that I got for Andrew that I think he's going to uh, be pretty excited about. This is the Starbucks hot cocoa mix. This is just the classic. They have mint. They have all kinds of different ones, but I just got him the classic because he's a plain Jane kind of guy. Um, he doesn't need frills or anything like that. Plus, I went the extra mile and got all of those yummy treats to put in the hot chocolate. So I figured just getting plain hot chocolate and then you have like the mocha, peppermint, white chocolate, you know, whatever. So um, I think he's really, really gonna enjoy this because he loves hot chocolate so much. I don't know if I'm going to be able to wait until Christmas to give this to him just because he's not going to be here that much longer after and I would hate for it to sit there and I'm not a hot chocolate drinker. I'm just not. Last thing I always get from my dad. This is so weird. Um, I always get him the Reese's trees, um, but I am going to split these up and put them into stocking. So I'll give my dad some, I'll give Andrew some, and then maybe even Aiden some depending on how you feel about giving four-year-olds candy you may be offended. Another gift suggestion is definitely books. Um, this is the Charles Krauthammer uh, winner, uh, Things That Matter. Matter. Um, if you are a Republican, you probably know who this is. He was a um, Fox contributor. Um, he did pass away. He ended up getting, I think, was it ALS? 
I want to say, okay, the last physical gift I have definitely saved for last. I got Andrew an actual freaking turntable. This is a record player. Um, it does have Bluetooth connectivity. Uh, you have a headphone jack. I don't know why you would sit there, but it's really, really cool because it's like in an actual little briefcase. Um, and it's not going to be huge. It's not going to take up a ton of room. You can literally put it anywhere. It's not like a big jumbo one. But Andrew and I have always, always wanted one of these. We've talked about getting a record player for so long. Him and I truly enjoy um, big band, golden oldies, like stuff like that. Big band is probably our favorite, like 30s, 40s era. Um, we just absolutely enjoy it. And so they have songs, like even that come on Pandora, where they have like the crackly. And him and I just absolutely love that. It's especially Andrew loves it on Christmas songs where you hear that crackly like there's a lot of Bing songs Bing Crosby songs that have like that sound in the background and so Andrew just loves it so I did get him this and I did find one record so far and it is none other than the Charlie Brown Christmas um so it has actually quite a few songs it has uh five on one side and then seven on the other um so they have Oh Tannenbaum, you know, Linus and Lucy, Christmas Time is Here, uh, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Anyways, it has tons of songs on it. My goal is to find a Mitch Miller one. I'm not a fan of Mitch Miller. I just feel like there's just a bunch of men shouting at me. <laughs> That's what Mitch Miller sounds like to me, at least his holiday stuff. I know that some of my um, more mature ladies are going to be like, Mitch Miller isn't that bad, but I can't really stand his Christmas music. It's not my favorite. So that will be it for physical gifts. I did want to mention some other things that are a really, really great idea that um, I did last year that I'm going to do this year for both my dad and Andrew. We bought them gift certificates to the art of shaving. It was the best experience for them. It was like a women's spa day for men. They like got a facial, they got obviously the shave, um, they got like a little massage, they got the hot towel like wrapped around their head where um, they got to like rest their eyes for a little while. It was so cool. Um, the only thing with art of shaving is that make sure you kind of get on the that train early because we thought we would buy them their you know gift certificates and we could use them you know whenever and so we went to the mall and went to get them like that day and come to find out like you need an appointment and ours anyways only had one barber I'm sure is the right word um, and he was booked like weeks in advance so um, you know if you wanted to give it to them and just give them the gift certificate for Christmas and then have them book it themselves or anything like that but if you were like wanting to go get it uh, you do want to call ahead and make an appointment um, something else like I said earlier is that we are making a lot of memories this year and so we are doing more things than giving stuff um I mean a lot of this stuff is like non I don't know like it's non-essential you know what I mean I love the record player and you know what I mean like I said all the little treats are nice because it's like that time of year where you kind of let yourself slip a little bit um and just really enjoy the finer things <laughs> a Reese's Christmas tree is one of those um and so this year we are going to the Polar Express in Williams um Arizona and the train goes through the Grand Canyon. They have the guys come through and sing and give hot chocolate. Santa comes on and gives everyone a little bell. And we decided to upgrade our package and actually stay at the Polar Express Hotel. So the whole entire thing is like decorated to the nine. Uh, for Christmas, you get dinner that night, you get breakfast the next morning. Um, everyone hangs out in their PJs. And so it's gonna be an amazing time. Aiden's definitely getting to that age where he kind of gets the concept of Santa and so he knows who Santa is he knows what Santa says um, and he loves the Polar Express movie so that that is something that we're doing this year we've also gone to zoo lights um, and you will see that in the vlog coming up and we're also doing another activity on Friday night uh, with a something that you'll find out about um, it's like a 
exciting. It's very, very exciting. And it's just stuff to make memories. Um, I feel like we're trying to do as many things together to make as many memories again just because Andrew is leaving. So um, I just wanted to mention something like that. Uh, if you guys have like a train or, you know, something of that nature, like a light show or maybe like an ice um, I remember in DC they had like an indoor ice sculpture thing that you could walk through and it was always obviously all lit up and you like wore really really warm stuff um, and got to go through and see all the different things so I just suggest um, maybe instead of giving a ton of things or stuff to do things or stuff together and make memories um that's something that we're definitely focusing on this year so there wasn't a whole lot really for the gift guide for men um because again that's like our core concept this year and so with that i will leave you i hope you guys enjoyed it today is the very last day to enter the makeup lover giveaway and then it ends um a new one will start next week for moms <laughs> so uh i hope you guys enjoy it go back to the very first video if you have no idea what i'm talking about the playlist is always linked down below again i will be linking these things down below as well so i thank you so much for watching if you are new hello and welcome my name is Brittany coco you are watching the coco channel please subscribe if you're not already and i will catch you guys in my next video bye